every once in a while, we raise our rates. We want to charge more, we want to work less, maybe put more quality into our business, and it's okay. But should we be telling our clients we're raising our rates when we raise them? Let's talk about it right now. What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Guys, I've raised my rates a couple times throughout my career and I've never told my clients I'm gonna raise my rates. I've never posted a thing I'm gonna raise my rates. And I don't think you have to either. Your rates are your rates. I know that when we get referrals from past clients, brides or couples or whatever from two or three years ago, they might say this is what they paid, but ultimately everybody should expect that you're going to raise your rates to maintain the lifestyle that we have, to maintain the economy that we're in now. But you never need to worry about other people worrying about your rates. Your rates are your rates. So if you decide that you want to raise your rates, you don't have to do a Facebook post. You don't have to put a notice saying, guys, effectively on this, you just don't have to do it. It's a common practice to raise our rates to do what we need. And that's just as simple as that. So this video is for those people who are afraid of raising their rates, who feel like they need to tell their clients. So here's a couple tips. Anybody that you've booked before the raise of the rates stays at that rate, right? So if you have a wedding booked in July, you're raising your rates in May, they're still at that rate, you're stuck at that rate, cool, thank them so much, you're awesome. Anybody after that, the day you decide to do your rates, when it's in writing, in a PDF, in a contract, that's when you can raise your rates and say it's your new rates. That's it, that's all you have to do. And there's nothing wrong with raising your rates. To the newer photographers out there, Make sure that you are charging enough for a five-year gain, meaning that whenever you start now, you can start and charge that same rate within five years from now. The last thing you need to do is raise your rates too often. So if you decide to raise your rates every six months, people will notice and people will talk. And great, I'm, do, I'm glad you're doing great in your business, I'm glad you're able to raise your rates, but then you start to look like you're changing rates per client because nobody really knows when they booked anybody and then that's a red flag. For instance, if I go to a bakery and they say it's $10 and then another person say, wait, I paid $12, wait, I paid $8, wait, I paid $6, wait, I paid $20 then everybody starts to go, your rates are fluctuating, maybe it's because I look like I make more money or maybe because you know I make more money that you're charging me more. And you don't want that conversation at all. So every time you have a new rate set, it's in writing, it's set up, it's ready to go, you can date the bottom if you want. Again, you don't have to, but that's where it's at. So those of you who raise rates, are you telling people? Are you uh, just doing it? And how is that affecting you negatively or positively? I'd love to know your guys' conversation on this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will talk to you later, bye.